Hey, I'm Kat Greenleaf, and today Talk Stoop is alive with the sound of music. That's right, it's one of our half-hour music specials, which of course are always my very favorite. On today's show, we have some amazing artists. We have Avril Lavigne, Ola Bell, The Head and the Heart, B.B. Newirth, and Boys to Men. So please, crank up your volume. You will want to rock out. I already have hair in my mouth. Are there other bands that are your competition, or are you guys it? Speaking of... I've heard that's your favorite word. That's private. That's a private name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous to be part of that camp? It's like, oh, God, we have to live up to Nirvana? Is menly really a word, or did you just come up with that? It doesn't even matter, because I make up words all the time. <gasps> it, right? <laughs> How does it feel to be loaded? This feels like exactly like what I should be doing. You not just remixed, but re-recorded, remade yes. eight of your classic songs. Yes. Why do that? Well, you know, it's, it's funny how that record company thing goes. <laughs> I already have hair in my mouth. I think it's going to be an ongoing problem. I'm Kat Greenleaf. This is Talk Stoop. Avril Lavigne joins us. Thanks for coming to Brooklyn. Thank you for having me. Avril, you've sold over 30 million records in your career. Now, you've had a career for a long time, even though you're just 27. You know that I'm a crazy. I do what I want. Is that what you expected, or do you wake up and go, holy cow, I cannot believe this is my life? Um, I know what I wanted, and when I was a little girl, I just simply wanted to sing because I loved, I loved singing, and I, I enjoyed being on stage. Did I ever think that it would happen to me at this level? No. You're not an artist that's afraid of commerce. When you do things like fashion and jewelry and perfume, is it an extension of who you are as a musician or something else completely? Yeah, and that's why I it's totally an extension of who I am as a musician. It's, it all ties in, so it's my vibe, my style, my taste. One, two. My image has pretty much stayed the same, other than the fact that when my first album I was 17, and this now I'm 27, 10 years later. Now I'm a grown ass woman. Yeah, so. wow. I think the biggest reward overall is um, walking out on stage every night and ha seeing like a crowd, and especially when that's on an international level. And one time, I covered Girlfriend in Japanese, my song Girlfriend, and it goes, Hey, hey, ashate wa ima ichi na na etero shiko hitsio. You, really good. <laughs> something like that. I probably f***ed it up, but it was something like that. Speaking of I've heard that's your favorite word, uh, but I understand that you even tattooed it and you, you really get behind it. Now, what is it that you love about the word? I mean... <laughs> it, right? The record you're working now, it's Goodbye Lullaby. I can be tough, I can be strong. This album is a special record to me because um, the songs are, I didn't, I didn't hold back. Um, Did you hold back in your first three records? No, I just, I was older and I had gone through new situations, new life experiences, and I really made this record about the vocal and the performance and the emotion. You left them running through my head. You're always there, you're everywhere. But right now I wish you were here. It's a lot of like pop songs, you know. The vocal performance gets buried in compression and different tracks, and I left the majority of these songs more raw. And Goodbye Lullaby um, to me is Moving forward from something, it's bittersweet. It's not bad, it's just part of life. And I'm um, taking the next step, opening a chapter and closing another one. I think everybody can relate to that at one point or the other. In your first chapter, you were called the anti-Britney Spears. <laughs> then she's goth, she's fashiony. What is the next chapter gonna be called? by people who feel like they need to do that? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, I'm a musician, so I definitely want to be respected that way or known as a writer and, and like, a real singer.
so nice to get a delivery here on the stoop. Thank you, nice man. And thank you, Avril Levine, our first musical guest.